Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video. If you're new here, my name is Jerenika Maisia, but all my friends call me G. And welcome back to the channel, girl, for another video. Y'all, I feel like I haven't had hair in the longest. I feel like my forehead looks very big. But the skin is skinny. Let me tell y'all something. Hold on, let me put y'all down. This has literally been a game changer in my skincare. Oh, focus. This, baby, look at the skin. The forehead look big, but the skin is skinny, okay? And my camera's beeping. She said she's about to die, so you're gonna just die. Hold on. I've changed my outfit 150 times today. How cute is this? Isn't she everything? I got this from Target for $8. How cute. So, it's probably, it's about to be that time of the month for me, okay? When it's about to be the time of the month, I could tell. I don't have to look at an app to tell me the flow is about to come. My emotions are gonna let me know. My body gonna let me know. My feelings are gonna let me know. And there's one thing. Anytime I feel this way, I'm like, oh yeah, it's about to be that time. I don't even have to look at the app. Anytime I feel unloved, <laughs> it's about to be that time. Y'all, the only thing that I want right now, baby, I'll write a little hair clip. Whatever, don't got time to fight only thing I want right now is a donut okay I want a donut okay because baby I had plans today I was like you know what I'm gonna get out I'm gonna go get to know the neighborhood blah 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 nah mamas I just want a donut and I want to go back to my balcony and drink my water and eat my donuts I need to order a new tripod because this one is too short I have one of crop top from Zara Prada shorts, vault label bag, uh, ballet shirt, and I'm gonna just put on my slides because I don't care right now, okay? Baby, when I tell y'all I had a cute little outfit, my outfit was so cute. I looked in the mirror and I saw my pudge. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I walked right to the cookie jar, got a cookie. It's okay, this week I'm bloated. What am I gonna do about it? Nothing, baby, <laughs> nothing. Eat a cookie and wait till next week when I'm not bloated. The fact that I look like a glazed donut myself. <laughs> Baby, I'm telling you, that face essence by Kills, y'all, it's literally like amazing. Mixed with the Kills ultra face cream when i tell y'all my face be hydrated all day and i just spray like rose water for most people this may be a little too hydrated for me i love it okay i'm praying to the donut gods that these donuts are good because um, if, for those of you who know shipley's shipley's to me is the best in the morning when they like fresh we about to see they cold Scale of one to ten. It would be so much better if they were hot. I could warm it at home. On a scale of one to ten. She get a four. So I've been looking at this wall and you guys know my, I'm in a one bedroom so my room my bedroom is actually the same space that I create content so I want this space to not just be a bedroom it's like it's gonna be a I don't know how to explain it okay it's kind of like my last room my bed is like I just slept in there it's, it didn't give you bedroom vibes if that makes any sense it's like a creator studio but I sleep in here it's just a creative space whatever this wall my goal is to just be very minimalistic but fashion i don't want to put my neon light up there so i'm thinking about doing these pictures hold on i got two more i got two more that i want to put like fashion icons in there so it's going to be like a fashion icon wall so i have naomi andre leon tally we have grace jones um carl lagerfield 
up in here i'm thinking about doing no i'm not thinking i'm gonna do beyonce and rihanna i'm gonna do a total of six pictures on this wall now the thing is this y'all <laughs> in my last apartment i did a very good job with hanging these pictures up and making it look even i'm sitting here like do i think this is possible for me to do on my own or should i hire a task rabbit to do this because i feel like these six pictures right here would be like really nice and if i stand here i could like do this all this won't be here my wall will actually, I ordered a new piping system, so the wall will actually be here. It's, we're slightly changing it, not too much. Ignore all of this. TV gonna be in the living room, but if I stand here and do reels, you'll see like an iconic moment. I think I can do it on my own. I really do. I'm about to try. So I'm actually creating a Instagram shorts, reel, and TikTok. So I want to show y'all the before vibe. So this is the before. Okay, so I changed my mind. I wasn't going to show y'all the behind the scenes, but I could show y'all. But the only reason I wasn't showing y'all because I'm literally in a bath towel. So let me put on clothes and then I'll prop, prop y'all up so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, y'all, so I definitely want to have like some fresh flowers in here. I'm not mad at this little situation right here. I actually like it. Really, really cute. So yeah, now all I have to do is find two picture frames and I need to print out uh, Beyonce and what's the girl name, Rihanna. It's so crazy how this morning I wasn't motivated or inspired and just by doing this, I feel like the space is definitely starting to become my own and I feel so motivated and inspired just by this. Just look, waking up every day seeing this, <gasps> this is gonna make me so happy, y'all. So these are not the same frames that I have on a wall, but they're very similar. I'm gonna get two to see if I can camouflage them to match because I couldn't find any more at Home Goods. But it's the same size, but it's not the same frame, but we are gonna see. So the Target Circle Week deal is still going on. And I have a few things that I need. I needed fabric softener. I needed dryer sheets. I need a new spray mop because these are just so much easier than a regular mop. So I'm gonna try this one. I need to see how much this is. Because the one that, the one that I used to have, I broke it. Oh, they do have it, it's right here. I've been having this one for the longest and guess what it works it's only $18 it works like a charm but I want to see how much the other mop is okay I need new trash bags get these y'all it is so hot out here it's so hot I don't even want to vlog no more girl oh my god I just want to go home It's the people getting mad at me and Target because I had multiple transactions. Don't get mad at me because you don't know how to shop at Target. When it's, it's Target Circle Week, baby, you have to make multiple transactions to get your gift card. Then pay for your other stuff with the gift card. Oh my God. Baby, I'm going home. I had to go to the car wash. I'm not. I'm not. It's not like I got to get out the car, but I'm not going. It's so hot. I'm gonna be cute. Uh-uh. 
I need to be naked. About to go back to only leaving my house in the morning and after 5 p.m. After 6 p.m. because oh, this is too much. Also, also I need to make it home because me and my family is having family Bible study tonight. At 6, it's 4.30. I need to figure out what I'm gonna cook tonight while I'm already out. Hold on, y'all. Let me think about this because once I go inside, I'm not leaving back out the house. I'm trying to see, there's nothing to cook. I really don't feel like stopping nowhere, y'all. I'm gonna regret this, but I ain't stopping nowhere. Let's go. so I'm back home and I want to see if this frame will work up here let's see okay so the only thing that I don't like the in, like the outline of the frame like this white part is like cream and those are white I don't like that I'm trying to see if I sit it here can you like really tell the difference no you can definitely tell the difference okay that's fine I'm going to turn it also this morning I put this mirror here I actually like this mirror. I love mirrors in homes. I feel like mirrors just open up the space. Something about a reflection is just so chef's kiss for different situations. I feel like a mirror is so perfect here versus like a picture or something. I I like this. I'm not mad at it. Also, in my last vlog, you guys know I had, well, no, at the beginning of this vlog, I was using this as a bowl to like wash my dishes because I don't like the sink. Oh, let me back y'all up. This sink is not deep enough. It is wide, but it's not deep. So I found this. Hold on. So I found this bowl at Home Goods and it is perfect. I love the fact that it's like a shell. <laughs> it reminds me of Bikini Bottom and me and my friends love SpongeBob, okay? But I thought this was just super, super cute. And I wash my dishes in here, so it's nothing major. But I like this. I actually like this better than a regular black bowl. This is like fun and very unexpected. All right, girls, so I'm about to relax, chill, drink me some kombucha, and prepare for, what time it is? Oh, wow, I need to be sitting down. The, um, what's name? The, the Bible study is about to start in 30 minutes, so I'll see you guys later. I think I want to do the Bible study on the couch. Lately, I just don't be in the living room because it's not giving me cozy vibes right now, but it's going to come. It's going to come. This is literally one problem i never want to be cured from because y'all i love sunglasses and i have so many new pairs right now this is my current fave i have these in five different colors i told y'all in one of my fashion videos that i would get it get these in five colors they took a month to get here and when i tell y'all they are just so good they just give you like this glam vibe but it's very fun i love that these are slightly transparent um these are also a little transparent and these are probably my least i don't want to say my least fave i have to see how I'm, how i'm going to wear these but i feel like these are just so fun and perfect for summer just to give it like your outfit like that fun pop also got these love them so much that i got them in blue and i got them in this nude which is just super fun you guys know i have these i don't even know where the other ones are these are also new. All of these are from Amazon. These are also new. They came from China, y'all, so they took so long. I'll still link them below, but these are gorgeous. So we're gonna just act like this is not just oh, so yummy. Like, the funny thing is, y'all, no cap. I literally wear all of these sunglasses. Every last one of them I wear. I usually go through my sunglasses, and if I'm not wearing something, I would get rid of it look closely i wear it well except for the ones that i just got but i wear all of these love these so much had to get them twice if you know you know oh they're just so good all right so i know the lighting sucks i have the window closed just to keep it cool in here but i'm just showing you guys my outfit i'm on my way out i'm about to take myself to lunch i want crab wong tongs from pf chang's that's like my comfort food and that's what i want right now so sunglasses amazon 
shirt vintage dior for those of you who are probably like how many times is she gonna wear this shirt as many times as i want to okay y'all remember when i got the fendi set i was always wearing it yeah kind of like that's how it's about to be bag is the jody dupe from tj maxx these pants are so old and these are vintage saint laurent i'm going to throw in a pair of hermes Aran sandals and we're going to call it a day i love the fact that my hair came out oh my god i'm washed out sorry guys i love the fact that my hair came out like just tussled not perfect messy that's the vibe that we're going for so let's go i hate when people park next to me and i'm trying to talk to y'all so we're at the pf chang's at the galleria i'm literally here just for long tones i don't want anything else so you come out cheaper when you buy them on happy hour because they're three dollars two two dollars versus getting six for fifteen dollars and i'm about to get six order no two four six eight i'm gonna get four orders because they only come two let's go y'all they're a little different from new orleans girl so the long tones at this location you get four for five dollars and they have a happy hour at the bar for five dollars so i'm gonna get i never had a pink cosmo lotus cosmo for five dollars girl let's try something okay also the guy just told me at this well, i don't know if it's all locations but at this location this happy hour is all day so as long as you come to the bar you can get these items for five dollars y'all the pink lotus cosmo is so good i love the fact that i don't taste alcohol it's actually really really good hey girlfriends it is a new day it's probably the next day um i have just successfully recorded my first fashion video sit down video in this apartment and first of all the lighting eating okay i'm not mad at this little setup um i wonder what it's going to look like once i put the wall here i actually just got an email that i have a few packages downstairs hopefully it's the wall yeah i just come to check in and say first fashion video content video sit down is is here uh i still have to print out two pictures for this haven't had time oh today i'm i ordered two pit two more frames from amazon during amazon prime i'm crossing fingers that they work because i found these two frames online these frames are by six trees girl they want 30 dollars a piece for two frames it's over 60 dollars and they wanted another 20 for shipping i said oh no so i'm going to send stephanie to home goods in new orleans on her off day to see if she can find it but i'm hoping and praying that the two that i got from amazon they're downstairs i believe i hope they work y'all i hope they work i'm crossing fingers that they work because i i know i'm gonna like this wall 10 times better with two more okay so yep i'm not mad at this little situation oh my god y'all i just went downstairs to get my packages oh my god every time i get on the elevator i'm being attacked by dinosaurs if your dogs come up here to me, that is not a dog, okay? That is a dinosaur. Oh my God, if I could ride your dog like a little pony, that is not a dog. Gonna tell me, oh, he doesn't bite. This big ass dog, he got teeth, don't he? He can bite. What you mean he can't, he don't bite? Anything with teeth bite. That's like me telling somebody, oh, don't worry, brother baby ain't gonna bite you until he biting you and you looking at me like, yeah, he bite. He got teeth. So why would I think your big ass dog don't bite? Girl, I was like already struggling because I got all these packages. I didn't expect these to be so heavy, okay? And I wasn't going back down there. And I left, I think, three other packages out there. We'll get them tomorrow, baby. Um, oh, I think this is the picture frames that I was telling y'all about. You mean to tell me both the picture frames? All right, Amazon. Let me get myself together because I can already tell I'm about to return this. I'm sweating. Girl. That's why you can't always trust Amazon. Like, you just can't. I'm going to go ahead and make a little return, y'all. Look at this. Girl. Look how thin this picture is. Look how thin. Hold on. Let me see if it works before I start talking. Shh. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
first of all, next to my other picture frames, these look cheap. Whatever, it's okay. I'm gonna be okay. We're gonna return these. I think you guys will be happy to know that I've been doing better with driving. I haven't been getting lost, y'all. We need to buy a little car mount because I can't hold y'all in talk. First hot girl walking Houston. Mm. Baby, I'm walking for dear life. I don't like this. Y'all, it's, in, it's real naturous. I'm out of breath, baby. This little trail going up and down. Legs burning, ass burning. And why do I hear so many different things, baby? Hold on. I'm gonna pick y'all up when I get to a trail. Y'all hear that? Baby, I'm gonna pick out when I get to a trail that's leveled with other people. This is my first time walking this park, so I don't think I should be adventurous. Especially the fact that I don't see nobody else on this trail. I need to be up there. There's people up there. I don't wanna be down here. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. I need y'all to do me a favor. When you're on a walk in a place that's not familiar, don't be blasting your music. You need to be aware of your surroundings, girl. Like right now, my music is so low. I don't have all my noise cancellation. I need to hear what's going on around me. Um, so since I'm not familiar with this walking trail, baby, it's so many different loops and trails. I'm gonna just walk straight for one hour. Then I'ma head back home for the second hour. Right now, I've only been walking for 21 minutes, 33 seconds. So once I hit an hour straight, I'm gonna turn back around and then it'll make two hours. All right, y'all, so I'm taking a break. I haven't been walking. I feel like I've been walking for a long time. Ugh, but I haven't been walking that long. Y'all, this view is sickening. Now y'all know I'm coming for a little picnic in this area, right? Y'all know I'm coming watch the sunset, right? Like I need to see the sunset on this building. I need to see the sunset on these buildings. Like, oh my God, maybe I should do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll have like a sunset picnic with myself because I haven't been doing anything with like self, like a little date. That's why I'm so happy I forced myself out of my comfort zone to go for a walk. No, it's not my walking trail in New Orleans, but the more I do it, I'll get familiar with the trail and I'll get comfortable doing it. But this is sickening. Hey y'all, so I'm back from my first hot girl walk in Houston. I walked for 82 minutes. Um, once I start walking, I looked at my, and I forgot my water. Girl, is this sweat? Yes. I looked at my, um, my watch and it said 45 minutes I had been walking. And I can kind of like tell my body was tired and I needed water. But it was a different type of tired. Usually, I know if I'm walking, I'm like, oh, I'm lazy and I don't feel like going. That's different from being tired. So today I decided to listen to my body and not push it to walk um, two hours. That was a long walk, okay? I guess I'm so used to a certain trail so I know how long it should take me. Girl, this trail has so many loops and turns and you can literally get lost because the trails are just, it's so many different trails in one I don't know how to explain it but I found one that I like when walking y'all like I was telling y'all when I was walking hold on when walking I would never recommend having on your headphones turn on um your noise cancellation or having your headphones on so loud so you're not aware of your surroundings um today I did not realize how much anxiety I had walking somewhere new 
um the only reason i walked i was on the phone with my friend and she literally talked to me on the phone till i got to the trail i said all of that to say we want to go on hot girl walks but you need to be safe okay don't just be out here oh i'm just a girl no you need to be a smart girl okay turn that up <laughs> turn your music down so you can hear so if someone was coming behind me, I heard everything, okay? So I was like looking, and don't be afraid to look back, okay? You need to be aware of your surroundings. Don't just be out here just ouchy about you. Next thing you know, you're missing. But I'm happy I went for a walk because today was not a good day for me. It just, it just wasn't. We all have days, okay? Today was not a good day for me and I could tell I needed to get out of the house and I also needed one of my grounding techniques. Y'all know in New Orleans, I walk every day. So I've been in Houston, well, actually here a full week, but I moved three weeks ago. I haven't actually been outside for a walk since I lived in New Orleans. And emotionally, mentally, spiritually, I could just feel that I'm off. And walking grounds me. I know that's one um, technique that if I ever feel off, I'm not centered and I need to be grounded. If I go for a walk, we're good. Like. This walk literally gave me energy, okay? So for the rest of the night, I'm actually, now that I have energy, I want to watch YouTube for some reason. I feel like right now YouTube, watching YouTube vlogs will be like comfort for me because there's nothing else that I will wanna watch. Like I, anytime my spirit is just not, you know, in the best place or my energy, my mood, I'm just not in the best place. I like to watch comfort things. So I feel like watching like Housewives or something right now, that just would not be good for me. I don't want to watch anything with drama. And I feel like right now, if I watch like a vlog, I should watch Peyton. Her vlogs are like perfect for what I need right now. They're fun. I'm going to laugh. No drama. That's what I need to watch right now. Peyton. Peyton Charles. If you've never watched Peyton, you need to watch Peyton. She's gonna, she's definitely a mood booster. Oh my God, y'all. This is about to be so yummy. So all I did was cut up some potatoes. You season them. I have shrimp in here. Um, I cut up mm, onions. There's butter. <gasps> y'all, this is about to be so good. I'm gonna put it in an oven for probably two hours because I want the potatoes to get very, very soft and I want all of this to cook down to yumminess. Then I'm gonna take it out the um, oven and cover it, which will smash it just a little with a fork. With mine, I do like potato chunks. I don't really want mashed potatoes, so I like to leave a few chunks and then I'm gonna cover it with cheese. But y'all, this is about to be chef's kiss. It is 8.05 a.m. and I woke up wanting coffee. So the problem is this, I've come to realize I am not a Nespresso girl. I don't like Nespresso um, machines. I, uh, it has like this aftertaste that I just cannot, no matter if I'm drinking the Nespresso pods, I try other pods, I still taste that aftertaste. I've come to realize I am a drip coffee girl, so I need, a coffee pot a drip coffee pot like regular not regular zagula but a regular coffee pot i'm going to give this to my sister and i want a coffee pot so that's on my list today y'all i need to buy a coffee pot because i'm literally about to leave the house to pay six dollars for a cup of coffee ridiculous morning girlfriends it's still morning it's 11 38 i had to pick up my camera y'all because i left y'all at home i did go out to get coffee and i end up girl on the other side of town so as i'm on the other side of town anytime i'm like out of my neighborhood i google target well i put it in my um gps target home goods or marshall's because i'm trying to go to different ones i left y'all home because i was like i'm literally just going out for coffee and i'm going to the gym it's, it's nothing girl end up on a whole whimsical roller coaster okay so right now i'm moving so in my vlogs i don't know i didn't take y'all because i didn't think y'all would want to see this i could have picked up my phone and just got footage off my phone but i'm going to leave it up to y'all this is kind of like a collaborative effort yes i'm going to record um and put out the content that i want to put out and i like to see but i also want to put out stuff that's not repetitive and things that you guys are enjoying 
as I was in the store, I was like, oh my God, this home goods is good. Maybe they would want to see this. But in every vlog, if we be honest, I will be going to Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Target because I'm moving and I need stuff every single day. So if you guys want me to pick y'all up and just I'm not gonna give you give you these long hauls like in a store, maybe flash different little clips. I don't know if y'all want to see it. Let me know below and I'll start taking y'all everywhere because yeah, I went to another Target and I had a time in that Target. Stopped myself from going crazy, but y'all know this morning I was telling y'all I want to start like. I want to buy a coffee pot. I found this coffee pot from Crate and Barrel, but I don't think it's in the store. They say it's on display, so why is this camera? Every time I pick up this camera to talk to y'all, she's about to die. Hold on. All right, so I found this coffee pot at Crate and Barrel. I need to go in store before I order it because it's not in store, but it's saying that it's on display, whatever. I was also looking at different coffee pots. I don't want just a regular coffee pot. I feel like if I'm gonna do it, I still need it to be like, oh, she's cute. If we've been on the show, can somebody please comment down below and tell me why is Smeg the like the coffee pot? For me and my coinage, I can't pay 250, 230, 200 for a coffee pot. I'm not doing it. That's kind of like a gift. Like if somebody like, oh, what do you want for Christmas? What you want for your birthday? What you want? You can give me a coffee pot. With me and my coin, oh, we not spending 200 on a coffee pot, no ma'am. So I found this coffee pot, it's 129. She's cute too. But comment down below and tell me why are those coffee pots? Is it the aesthetic of it? Or does that just give you like the best coffee? Because mm, I don't think it's worth it, okay? But anyways, let me just do a quick little haul. Let's do Target. So I'm starting, I wanna start a little coffee bar. Something very cute in that nook that y'all saw this morning. Also, I realized I don't like the fact that everything over there is black. I don't want my kitchen to be so dark, so I wanna like lighten it up. So, okay, that I don't have the coffee stuff. So I got these towels from Tari. I needed dish towels. I have been looking for uh, towels in Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and the ones that they've been having just wasn't giving me the vibes. So I got two packs of these waffle knit towels. I think these, these are so cute. I love the color. Got those. Last night when I was cooking dinner, I realized I didn't have any um anything to get the stuff out of the oven. So I got these two little oven mitts. No, it's not an oven mitt. It's like you get to hold oh, hold the stuff. But I thought these were super, super cute. Look at the texture. Ugh, it's just so good. So I love that. And also it's not black. I, like I said, I want the kitchen to stay light and airy. I have a lot of black detailing, but I, let me show y'all. I have a lot of black detailing, but what I did was, you see how they have this um, vase? This is a flower vase that I use as a little kitchen holder for my spoons because I love the fact that you can see like the wooden bottom it's in its glass so it keeps it like modern and airy not really just dark I didn't want to put it in a black cup or a white cup I like the clear base it just gives it more of a clean aesthetic and in this corner I had like this black pompous but I decided to take that out and put like this white vase with the green flowers because I feel like it keeps it airy and light with the black vase and the pompous it was just too dark and I didn't like this so I'm liking this a little more that Vogue book would not stay there I want to find something like a kitchen cookbook or something to put over there but I'm loving this vibe and over here I still have those vases and I like how clean it looks over here. Now for the kitchen runner, I love this. It's like black detailing. I don't know the, it's not Raffia. I don't know the name of this detail, um, this fabric, but I thought this was like perfection. Love, love, love. And I also put like rug tape so it won't move. Now this is where I'm gonna have my coffee little area. I'm not really big on coffee, but when I want coffee, I want this area to be a coffee area. So what I'm going to do is put like the coffee mug here and put a few things here. But see how everything is just black? It's too dark for me, so I want to lighten it up. I also picked up some liquid IV. Never had liquid IV, but I need to try it. And this little pack is a three pack. It was at Target for $5, so I feel like this is perfect for me to try. So for my little coffee area... The coffee mug that I want, it's black and it has like this wooden handle. I don't know if you guys can tell. When it comes to like wooden aesthetics like that 
earthy Tulum vibe. I love the wooden aesthetics. It's just so my vibe. I love, love, love. So I got this container from, it's a glass container. I got it from Target with the wooden lid. What I'm going to do is sit this on next. Sit this next to the coffee pot and I'm gonna fill it up with coffee to put in the coffee pot. But I got these two little containers and it's gonna be like a three set. So in here, I'm gonna put sugar for my coffee and in here, I'm gonna put cinnamon because sometimes I've been feeling like, mm. my goal is to learn how to make a dirty chai latte at home. <gasps> Once I learn how to make a dirty chai latte, girl, I'm gonna think I am that girl for real because dirty chai lattes, <gasps> top tier, okay? Top tier. Y'all know this is my fave, fave, fave. I love this fragrance and it's just <clears throat> chef's kiss. When I stopped to the new home goods, I found, I didn't find a caveman or a man cave candle, but I found something else by the brand. And the name of the brand is Masculine Aromas Collection. And I found this one. This is Night Out. Lately, I've really been into masculine fragrances. It's just so, y'all, so good. And this brand, Girl, oh, it's even me opening. Oh my God. Y'all, this smells so good. Also from Home Goods, I got a vase. Right now, I'm really into like different vases. Anytime I get my um flowers, I don't want to just have like a regular vase anymore like I did in my last apartment. So I got this extra large donut vase. Oh y'all, this is gonna be so pretty. Like I want it to be like full of, not pompous, baby breaths i have a smaller version of this one that i got years ago from target it's in a bathroom and i love the way it looks i got this marble tray i could not leave this girl a marble tray at target i saw a few today they're like 40 dollars. this was 7.99 okay 7.99 I, I couldn't leave it so i want to put all of the little things on here matter of fact let's do it together right now I know y'all can't really see what's going on, so give me a second, girl. I'm trying, okay? She can go there. Okay. And the coffee pot will go here, and it won't look so dark. Because when I walked in the kitchen today, and I saw all of this black, I was like, oh, especially next to this um, microwave, it just looked so dark. So I think I'll be okay with this, because it doesn't look so dark now. And I'm not mad at it. I just took this smaller vase you can kind of like see the size difference actually this was twenty dollars from target like back in 2020 y'all know when this style was very popular and this one was 12.99 i believe from home goods but i like the bigger one better it's 7 p.m fry it's 95 degrees i ain't got no and no ain't got me it's friday but it's not 7 p.m and it is 95 degrees i'm about to go link up with a friend i'm not gonna take my camera no i'm gonna take my camera i won't show anyone uh we're gonna have to talk about some things probably when i get back um but yeah i'm about to show y'all what i got on i think it's a little much but whatever all right so i have on this top from zara it's like this sheer top a lace bra these shorts are from zara i actually got them altered but what is dumb is I got these things altered when I was losing weight and now I still have a gap in these. So I have to take them back. I don't know if y'all can see that. I have to take them back to get altered again because they're like falling off and I need her to cinch, take it in some more. So when I go to New Orleans, I'm going to see if she can take them in. But I got these shorts from Zara. I'm going to wear my mini Ava bag. I'm going to put on... Uh, these black heels from Zara. Necklace is shop icon on Instagram. I know that was real ghetto, but I'm late, y'all. I think the fact that I have on a choker with the sheer shirt is giving, what they call it, SMS? Something like that. That's not what I was going for. Y'all, I've made it to my destination, but the absolute funniest thing is, everybody's staring at me literally when i was leaving out my building there was i turned the corner and there was this lady at the elevator she was like you can tell i kind of like caught her off guard she wasn't expecting it and i'm just like uh, i know it's 4 p.m but girl i think it's definitely the shirt but what am i gonna do if i don't wear this stuff in real life 
<laughs> where am I gonna wear it to? I don't know. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I'm at the mall. I'm not supposed to be, but we're here. I'm at home goods. So I'm looking at these mirrors. These are really cute. I like this. I don't have an extra hand to show y'all. Oh my god, y'all. Look at this. Look at it. I'm not leaving this. I have to get it. Oh my god. For those of you who know me, come on now. I'm such a tea drinker. Y'all, this is crazy. Literally a must-have. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I can actually talk to y'all now. Uh, last time I saw y'all, I was at the mall earlier. I've been home, then I had to run back out. We're at Crate and Barrel because I think in this vlog, y'all, I need to end this vlog, girl, this vlog is long, okay? Y'all been with me for at least a week and a half. I told y'all I'm not um, an espresso girl. I want a drip. Oh my God, that's an anthropology. We're not gonna go to anthropology because I just made a purchase. I'm not gonna tell you what I got, but I just made a purchase that I shouldn't. I ain't gonna say I shouldn't have made it, but we're here for a coffee pot, girl. And the coffee pot I want is at um, Crate and Barrel. I need to see if it's in stock because I want it now. It is not a smeg. It's a cute little coffee pot, but I needed to pick up, pick y'all up. We gonna talk later, y'all. I went to church today, and baby, when I tell y'all. If somebody saw me at church, they was like, oh, girl, what's she going through? Baby, bawling, crying, okay? We, we gonna talk, but let's go, girl. Well, now, where's my car keys? Baby, I'm all over the place. Do y'all see the back of my car? Child, at this... Oh, my God, y'all. Clearly, the car keys are in the car because if they wasn't in the car, the car wouldn't be moving. But I don't know where they at. Y'all, look at this coffee pot. Oh, it was so wait, so the coffee pot I want, y'all don't have it, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 yes we do. Yes, Could we you do. get a coffee pot? Yes we do, yes we do, we got twin stock. So is it, oh, okay, that mean I can have it? Yes, today. Oh my God. We're gonna walk out with it today. Okay, I love that for me. Okay, y'all, at first she said they didn't have the coffee pot, now she said they got the coffee pot. Apartment? Yes, y'all, look at this. She just showed me this. I told her I don't need a new water kettle, but oh my God, this is amazing. Y'all, I know the lighting is crazy. I'm not gonna get the kettle because I feel like I should be responsible. I told y'all I just made, well I told y'all, I, I not told her I made a purchase. I told her what it was. I'm not telling y'all. I just don't, I would feel crazy spending a hundred dollars on a water kettle to warm water. And she told me to get it. I am so excited about this purchase. So now it's a bit of a process. Okay, it's so okay. We're gonna have to scan this QR code and oh. fill out some information. I do it for fifteen percent. Mhm. Mm Y'all not gonna like spam email me, right? No. Uh, I don't like when people lie to me. I, I hear a lie all in your voice. No. All right, y'all. I'm actually on my way home now. Hold on. No more stops. I have nothing else to buy. I actually do need to stop to get. I need to stop to pick up coffee for the coffee pot, but I'm not doing that. I can do that tomorrow. I'm just ready to get home. I have some work that I need to do, and I've been gone all day. I literally woke up this morning at 6 a.m. to go to church, and it's literally about to be 6 right now. I need to go home and woo -sa. So I am back home. It is 5.55. We're about to end out this vlog because I need to edit, get this vlog up. I need to prepare for the week and get my week started. 
um i'm gonna show you guys everything i got today you know what's so funny i literally just realized this i left my tripod in the car okay so i got y'all on another tripod y'all might be a little slanted but it's okay first thing okay I went to the mall to uh, look at Mango because on, anytime I go shopping, I only shop at Mango in New York. If we've been honest, y'all, I'm not a Mango girl. I'm trying to get into it. They have great quality and great pieces, but the shopping experience on Mango is just so boring. And if we've been honest, the store was aesthetically pleasing. It was just boring to me, but I did get a few things. I got this hat. Y'all saw me try this on. How cute with my Amazon glasses. Like, oh my God, it's just giving fun summer vibes. Like. Tell me this is not cute. Who gonna tell me this is not cute? And I got this, it's like a bandana. So with this one, I can use it. We'll bring y'all down, child. I'm gonna use it as a headscarf. You can use it as um, a top if you like. I just love this one. I feel like this one looks way more luxurious. So I did pick this one up. I would recommend these. I feel like it's a nice size. This size right here is the best size. Um, scarf to tie as a head scarf is so easy love this so much that i did pick it up in another little print y'all know i know y'all probably tired of seeing me in my dior scarf the dior scarf is so easy to tie because these are the same size so you guys are going to be seeing these scarves a lot in the vlogs when i'm just lounging around the house also went in zara and i got this top i think y'all saw me try this on I saw this on the website and i was so happy to get it i did size all the way down i got a size small I love the fact that in the front is like a regular t-shirt, but from the back, you got a little slither. I don't know if you can see that. The back is out, but got that. Only thing I got from the mall. Then I ran to Home Goods and got the same things that you guys just saw. Nothing major. Let's see if I, well, I ain't gonna say nothing major because baby, I cannot wait to clean this out and uh, drink me some tea tonight, okay? While I do like my weekly goal setting. Who about to tell me I didn't need this little glass? So the other, y'all know I have the other one. I use that one for coffee because with coffee, I could like sip coffee. With tea, I be gulping it down. But oh, y'all, look at this. Look at the details. I don't know if y'all can see that. They have like gold streaks in the inside. This is just everything. Oh my God, my camera about to die. Oh my God. I'm not gonna show y'all the teapot. I got the teapot. And I got this coffee pot. This is the coffee pot that I have been on the hunt for. But every time I would look, it kept saying sold out. Back in stock, sold out. So let me charge off for two seconds so y'all can see. Because I'm not ending out this vlog until y'all see how I look in my little coffee nook. Because we're not doing it. I ain't about to be like, oh, I'm going to see y'all in the next vlog. Y'all can know y'all going to see it today. Oh, my God, y'all. It's perfect. It is perfection. Oh, look at, oh, look, can we get into the details? Can y'all see this? It's, oh, hold on. Let me see if I can turn the light off so it's not bright. It has like this wooden, I think the light, okay, there you go. It's wooden with the black. Oh my God. I love it. It's perfect because y'all know I'm not really a coffee girl, but when I want coffee, I want to do drip coffee and I don't want my espresso machine but i like how the, it's black but it's not too dark how it was at the beginning of the vlog y'all i love this wooden handle this is sick i love this and it had a um a water kettle but it was a hundred dollars girl i'm not paying a hundred dollars to warm up no water especially when this little kettle right here she works perfect okay but so far y'all i am loving the kitchen i'm loving the vibes my little coffee nook is about to be complete. All I'm going to do is find a, um, hold on, I'm going to show y'all. So this is coasters and I want to buy like some coasters just to elevate this one because that's going to be sugar and it's going to look like that. See, oh, I love it. Like you, you guys get the vibes, right? <gasps> She's everything. So this is my little coffee nook and this is the new coffee pot that I love. Now, I don't know how to use it. I know it has a reusable coffee filter, which is good, but it should be easy, okay? And now in the next vlog, we'll be able to see what the coffee tastes like, but I'm just obsessed with the aesthetics. All right, girlfriends, so the video has come to an end. Um, we're gonna end out the video, the vlog here. If we've been honest, y'all, I have been going back and forth. Do I wanna talk about my experience? 
today I went to church today for the first time in four years yes four years now I watch church every single Sunday on TV I stopped going to church because COVID happened and I just started watching on TV and got so used to that and then the church that I used to go to knew I just felt like it's the church I grew up in but I really wasn't getting closer to God it wasn't it was no longer my church home and I don't believe in staying somewhere because that's where I grew up when it's time to go it's time for me to go and I just stopped going to that church so I will watch um different churches on YouTube every Sunday and I'll just sit on my couch and watch church so I'm trying to see Friday Friday I got this urge it's like God said go to church like go to church I need you to go and I said oh okay so Saturday come and the urge to go to church was just like intense I'm gonna say that girl Saturday night Everybody was saying how, oh my God, that church is so hard to get a seat. You can't find parking. They're gonna turn you away because it's never nowhere to sit. So at this point, the devil is just like, don't go. You could just watch it on TV. You don't have to go to church. Like you haven't been to church in four years. You don't have to go now. Like it's okay. You don't have to go. My spirit said go. So I literally told my friend, I said, baby, if I could get up at 4 a.m. to be the first one in line at a sample sale, I'm going to church. So Saturday night, last night, I went to sleep early. Y'all, I could not sleep. I'm tossing and turning. And something, even I got up and something said, girl, just go to, don't go to church. Like, you too tired. Don't go to church. So my alarm go off. Now, y'all, every morning, y'all know I'm a morning girl. Every morning, I could just, like, get up. 6 a.m. I'm up like this morning y'all I'm so tired mind you I went to sleep early last night I'm so tired I said this ain't nothing but the devil girl something literally said oh you don't have to go to church you're too tired just stay in bed and I was like no I'm pushing myself okay so the whole time I'm getting dressed like my anxiety was on a thousand everything was like don't go don't go don't go I'm like no I'm going I said God I'm going, okay? I'm gonna need you to meet me there, okay? I, I say, God, I'm going where there's gonna be two or more. I just need you to meet me there, okay? You told me to go, I'm going. I don't care what's going on. Girl, I'm getting dressed, y'all. I'm shaking. I'm like, what is going on? Girl, I, I'm like shaking, y'all. I'm getting dressed, I'm like, what's going on? Then it was like, all these thoughts, what are you gonna wear? You can't wear that, you can't wear that. At this point, I'm like, if I could get dressed up for dinner lunch anything else I, I could get dressed up at church like i mean i'm not gonna do the most it's not a fashion show but i'm not about to just go to church toe up no i could put in some effort for the lord i gave him some brows like i got dressed up like i used to go girl i'm in my head why are you wearing this to church no i don't think you should wear this so the outfit i had on i changed it end up putting on this black uh ij dress then I walked past the mirror. I said, oh no, that's too much knees for church. So at this point, I'm sweating. I'm supposed to leave the house at 7. Th the church service start at 10 p.m. I said, okay, God, you told me to go to church. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to get up so early. I'm going to get up at 6, 6 a.m. I'm going to leave my house at 730. I'm going to stop and get me a coffee, and I'm going to sit in the parking lot for two hours until church start. I, you said go. I'm going to go. I just need you to secure me a seat. Girl, seven. it was 7.24, I don't have on clothes. I'm, girl, sweating. When I tell y'all I am sweating, I'm just like, oh my God, just just don't go. I said, and it was like, don't go. I'm going, you don't have to go. I'm going, girl. So at this point, I get in the car, I'm out the door. I get there and the GPS sends me the wrong way. I end up at somebody's house. So at this point, I'm like, devil, I rebuke you all in the name of Jesus. I said, okay, God, I come this far. I need you to help me get there, girl. Just, just so happy. I'm so happy I didn't allow my feelings or to just get discouraged. I was one block away from the church. I was in a neighborhood and I had to just turn into the parking lot. So I turn into the parking lot. I get 
this lady, she's literally looking at me and waving. And in my head, I'm like, Lord Jesus, today is not the day. I am not Jeronica Mycia. I am Jeronica, your daughter. I don't want to meet nobody from you two. It's, it's not giving that. That's not what I'm trying to do today, Lord. My emotions are everywhere. I'm two seconds for crying. I am not in the mood to meet nobody. I said, God, I, I'm not on that today. So the lady is waving. She was like, hi, welcome. And I said, man, where do I park and how do I get in church? So she's not a subscriber. She's just being friendly. So she told me where to go. I get there. There's a line. So I see this line and I'm at the beginning of the line. So I get in line, y'all, at 8 a.m. So it's 8 a.m. I'm in line. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to stand here. Child, just today, the day that I decide to go to the Lord's house, the air condition is not working. And I have, the, the, the Gucci blazer is heavy. It's like wool mixed with a little linen. I don't know what they, it's heavy. I'm hot, I don't have a fan. I have on the bus down today, okay? Oh baby, sweating, I'm already nervous. I already have anxiety, y'all, I'm shaking. I am shaking, trying to put on mascara in the car, girl, sh trembling to the point where I just had to like breathe. I was like, what, what is this? All this to go to church? Like, girl, the devil did not want me to go to church today, y'all. So I'm standing in line, 8.30 come. And in my head, I'm like, oh, they gonna just let us sit down and wait? No, baby. They didn't open the doors to that church until 9, it was like 9.30. So I stood in line for about an hour and a half. I was not complaining. I wasn't even on my phone, y'all. Most people was like on their phone talking to the people. I did talk to the lady behind me to ask her a question and she had on cute shoes and I had to see where the shoes was from. But I wasn't on my phone. I just was so scared, y'all. When I said, oh, I'm not gonna cry. I was so scared because I was like, Jernica, you know how you about to cry. I'm like, hold yourself together. You cannot cry. Because this cry was like a different type of cry, baby. 9.30 come, they opened the doors to the church. And the lady was, it was like, they tell you where to sit. So I'm going to the middle. She was like, no, come this way. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I end up in all the way in this corner. I couldn't really see nothing, but I'm in a corner. And I'm like, okay, well, God, if this is the seat that you reserved for me, I'm going to sit here. So I'm just sitting there, y'all. I'm shaking in my boots. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. My hands are sweaty. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Girl, church start. They say, stand up. I stood up. The praise and worship team go to the stage, child. At this point, they, 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 they was talking. Good morning, good morning. Let's stand for praise and worship. Baby, all I heard was, I love you, Jesus, <laughs> more than, what's, hold on. Soon as they start singing this, Baby, I broke down, okay? Broke down. Everything that I was holding, baby, broke down. I'm gonna say 90% of the church service, I was crying. Baby, I don't know what, what took over me. Oh my God, as soon as I heard that, I just sat down. Baby, shirt covered. The lady come with tissues, I'm like, no, I'm gonna need more. Girl, I was a mess, okay? I was a mess. He said, when two or more gather, oh, he was there. And I was laughing because I said, okay, the whole time I'm getting dressed, I said, okay, God, you say go to church. I'm, I'm going with two or more gather. I need you to meet me there, baby. He met me in the parking lot, okay? Because I felt him in the parking lot and I was like, oh no, I'm not going to cry. Baby, as soon as I heard, I love you, Jesus, <clears throat> I'm a mess. A mess. And then, there was a part of me that was so embarrassed that I just broke down crying and I'm literally by this exit door. When I was driving there, something said, I ain't gonna say something, God said, don't leave. Y'all, when I started crying, I was about to walk out the door and I felt him like, don't go. I just sat there, girl, and was bawling my eyes out and it was, it was an experience, okay? So at this point, I am gonna start back going to church, but Next week, I'm going to church with one of my friends. I'm looking for a church home. I don't want to say that's my church home. I've only been there one time. There was a few things that I feel like I'm a little old school child. And I was just like, I felt like my grandma. I was like clutching my pearls at, in the church. But I'm looking for a church home. So that was my church experience, y'all. Your girl broke down, okay? The devil was like, don't go. 
Oh, child, y'all, when I tell y'all, once I left there, I felt like the weight of the world was just off my shoulders, and I was like, okay, okay. So, yeah, I am going to church, okay? Anybody church, your church, her church, his church. We're going to the church house because I need to find a church home. So, that was my experience at church, baby. It took me a lot to get there, but I got there. When I left there, y'all, I had to just sit in my car. I felt drained. I felt like I had nothing. Like, not in a bad way, but I was just like, oh, it was, I don't know how to explain it. It was just like, spiritually, I was just full but empty, if that makes any sense. Because all of that energy that I was holding in, trying to hold in, baby, once they start singing, she was done for. So yeah, something else happened to that girl. He just been showing up in ways that I'm just like, okay, okay, uh, okay. But that was my church experience. Uh, I'm about to get ready for the week. And it's still early. Mm, it's 8-11, but yeah, girl. Also, I know you guys are getting another vlog, child. Just bear with me as I get my life together because I want to continue to create fashion content. Y'all know... Please don't get it twisted. I'm a fashion girly. I love the fashions. I am not a vlogger, okay? Just so happened, I've been doing something every day and I've just been picking up my vlog with my camera every day to vlog. So just bear with me. But don't get too comfortable with these vloggy vlogs because she's a fashion girly, okay? I hope I, uh, we're going to make a fashion content this week because I have some things that I want to show y'all. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this thing a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all, my head hurt, baby. When I tell you today has been a day, today been a day. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's all we got, folks. Girl. Oh my God. I did not know I was on camera with my lip liner looking crazy like this. Mm -mm. Hello. First of all, you call me. Where's Brother Baby? Where's the brother baby? Stephanie, I went to church today. I don't have time for negativity. You can you can keep your negativity over there. Stephanie, you didn't go to no church. I did. I know it's optimistic. Girl, I cannot play. Wait, when I was at church, he was like, yeah, because we all know that one person who loves to quote the Bible, but they be saying it wrong. But then, then, then they'll be like, well, you know what I mean. That's you. <laughs> you always saying the wrong thing. But I'm like, well, you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. 